personal notes this is uh jose just uh checking out this new esxi server version 8.0 trying to install ubuntu was able to successfully install it but i did run into some problems when i first attempted to do so i'm going to go ahead and try to recreate that problem and show you what it did to fix it basically ubuntu is not booting up because some efi error of sorts check it out i'm going to go ahead and click on create from here, I'm going to say I'm going to create a new virtual machine. I'm going to click on Next. I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a name. I'm going to go with 03 slash uh, Ubuntu. And then we'll go with Sample. We're going to go ahead and select that this is going to be Linux. And then we're going to choose that this is Ubuntu Linux 64. Click Next. At this point, we're going to select that we want to store it in data store number two, since it has 5.4 terabytes of space. This, we're going to go ahead and increase the memory here from two to four. And then as far as the uh, hard drive space, I'm cool with that. And for the controller, we're going to say logical parallel. The VLAN, I'm going to choose my 170 VLAN. And then as far as the CD, we want to point to a ISO. We're going to check data store. And we're going to go to my ISO images and select the boom tool and click on select. At this point, we're going to click on next. We are ready. So we're going to click finish. And that one is now up and running. And you would think that with all that being done, that this go ahead should go ahead and start going into the setup process. Let's take a look to see what happens. We're going to click on it, and then we're going to click Power. And let's take a look at the console. And right here, what you got is a no media on the EFI and also on the CD-ROM. And it basically gets stuck there. And eventually, it goes into some kind of like bio setup and where you can select um, different boot processes. So. I'll give you an example. This won't work right now because I've tried this before. I'm going to go ahead and click on Enter Setup. And then I'm going to click on Configure Boot Options. And then I'm going to select on Add Boot Option. And then I'm going to select this very first one here because this represents the um, partition, EFI, Boot. And I'm supposed to select Grub64 EFI. I'll click on that. Click on Commit Changes. And now if I go back to configure boot options, add boot option, actually, go to uh, configure boot options, change boot order, uh, it's not being displayed there right now. You see that? So let's go back one more time, add boot option, commit to changes, change boot order, and it's not there. However, if you see, there are currently two spaces there at the bottom. That's because I've done that twice. However, it's not selecting that file. So this will cause a problem. So let's go ahead and delete those boot options that it doesn't identify yet. Commit to changes. And then exit boot maintenance. And then shut down the system. As the system is shutting down, As you can see here, the next thing <clears throat> that we're supposed to do to try to fix this is we're supposed to go to edit, go to VM options, select boot options, and then specify that you want this thing to boot up right into the bio setup when it starts. So we'll go ahead and select that. And it takes us back to the same place. We'll try this one more time and to set up configure boot options, add boot options. Okay. Commit to changes. Change boot options. And you see it there now. See? So we'll go ahead and hit the plus sign to bring that up to the top. Hit the enter key to accept it. Commit to changes. Go back to configure. Change boot order, confirm that boot 003 is in display, and then we'll exit out.
and then we'll try to restart again and see what happens. It's shut down, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and launch it again, and let's see if it's got a different behavior. <clears throat> you can see boot 003 says no media, so let's take a look to see what that is. One way to do that would be to go ahead and power it back off, go to edit, go to the CD, and confirm that it's going to connect. Click on save, and let's restart again. And it still says no media. So the next thing I did to try to fix this was I powered it off. I went to edit. I went to the SATA controller. Actually, I went into advanced options under boot. This says EFI. So I'll change this to BIOS. I will get an error changing firmware might make the install guest operating system unbootable. I'll hit save. I'll try to launch that. It's going to come up with this error. I'll go ahead and kill it. I'll go back to edit. Go back to the VM options, boot options, change this back to EFI. Save it. Try to relaunch it again. And it works. I'll go ahead and select Ubuntu. And it begins its process. So that is the workaround to installing Ubuntu on ESXi version 8.0.